A very good morning children. Today we will be learning about the impurities in water and how to remove the insoluble impurities. As we all know, after water falls on the earth in the form of rain, it flows over the soil and rocks. On its way, it picks up different types of minerals, salts, that are soluble and what are soluble substances which can dissolve in water also the water carries insoluble substances such as mud sand stones pebbles chalk in addition many soluble and insoluble impurities get mixed up with the water from the waste of homes and factories that are dumped into lakes and rivers. The water also contain some disease causing germs. Water had no color, no smell and no taste but it is for the pure water. Impure water changes the color and make it harmful for us to drink. Water which contains harmful impurities and disease causing germs must be cleaned before drinking. Removal of insoluble impurities We can separate the insoluble substances from water by sedimentation, decantation and filtration. Sedimentation and decantation To do this experiment, we need two glasses, one spoon and some sand. Take some clear water in a glass or you can take a beaker. Now take some mud and mix in it. You can add at least 1 to 2 spoons of mud or sand into the water. As soon as you add the sand in the water, the ch it changes color. Slowly mix it. Now keep it undisturbed for some time. You can see that the insoluble particles or the sand particles are settled at the bottom. Can you see that? The insoluble particles of sand settled at the bottom and here the water or the, the sediments are at the bottom and the water is above. This process is called sedimentation. Sedimentation is used to remove the sediments to remove the sand particles. Now slowly we will hold the glass and pour the clear water into another glass. And this process is called decantation. So here you can see the sediments are at the bottom and here the clear water is in another glass. So this is the process of sedimentation and decantation. Filtration What is filtration? As the name says, this experiment contains a filter paper in which the impure water is filtered and it is converted into pure form. Sometimes we also use a soft cloth as it contains some holes in the cloth which are very small and as compared to the mud particles which are bigger so it cannot pass through them so that is why we used to filter the water with the help of either cloth or another important thing that is filter paper which is called filtration. In filtration, water containing insoluble substances are poured into a funnel having a cone of filter paper. A filter paper has very tiny holes in it. They are so small that you cannot even see through them. It can be used to filter out the mud to get water free from the insoluble substances. Insoluble substances are caught in the filter paper 
Filter paper has very tiny openings so that even the smallest particles of any impurity in water cannot pass through it. So now the clean water is collected in the glass and all the mud particles are left behind on the filter paper. The water filter which is used in homes and offices contains a filter candle with very fine holes in it. It is used in, in order to filter out the insoluble impurities. So today we learned about the separation or removal of insoluble impurities from water. In my next class and next video, we will be looking at how to remove the soluble impurities. Till then, thank you and have a good day.